Welcome to the Censored Questions. Um, now, the Censored Questions, or questions and responses, are um, done because there are certain subjects that we can't talk about on the standard social media. The Uncensored Questions are going to be available on our private site. Sorry, that's how it has got to be in our world today. So let's get into the, the chemical um, stressors. Question one from Hey Hey Alabama. <laughs> yeah, I like that name. What would you do if you have root canals? Would you have them taken out? Now, this is really cool. Um, a root canal kills the tooth. So if you have dead tissue in the mouth, this can have an entire systemic approach or, or effect. So what you need to do is get a thermography. That way you can find out. But, you know, you figure if you got, if they're in the front or in the back, you may have to have it pulled and get dentures. So to find out if it's negatively affecting you, because it will eventually, get a thermography. And I mean a full torso thermography. Because if there's a hot spot here and lymph drainage for the face and mouth drained to the right chest area, you're going to see um, that then that's a negative response by the body. Now, when they are taken out, okay, and this is hugely important, standard dentists, they're going to take it out and give you an antibiotic. Um, or pain reliever. Now, that can leave the ligament that held the tooth in place, creating an, um, a subclinical infection called a cavitation. So the way the tooth has got to be pulled out by a Huggins Protocol dentist is the best. That's what we have in our clinic in Mexico. So you identify that it is a problem. You have to pull the tooth. Then you have to go back in with a totally different operation and remove the ligament. Then you got to take the patient's blood, spin it down a plasma cell, inject the opening so the bone can regenerate, then you treat that with ozone, and that whole process is done while you have a vitamin C IV. That is the best in the world. So find out if they need to be taken out, they may eventually have to be taken out, um, and it has to be done in that protocol, and then you're going to be hunky-dory. Uh, question two from Brian Deutsch 6577. Speaking of chemical fluid stress, I have a question about what we cook with. Vegetable oil, should we be cooking with coconut oil? Yeah, vegetable oil is generally from soy or corn or clear oils. Now, these things are um, highly toxic, okay? They literally can damage the arteries. So do not cook with um, the standard vegetable clear oils. Yeah, those things are not good for you. Um, the good cooking oil is coconut oil because it's a high heat oil and the healthy saturated fats help you get the nutrients from it. So you can actually get, um, the saturated fats that you need for hormone production. It's going to be incredibly good for you. Um, but yeah, no canola oil, no, no corn oil, no soy oil, um, no cottonseed oil, none of that stuff. Um, question three, bad or V1? Um, what about those earthing and grounding mats? I love them, okay? The ones to sleep on, you, you figure when you're grounded, the earth has an electronegative charge, and that has an antioxidant effect on the body. So if you're able to sleep on an antioxidant surface, and think of this, your body goes through a billion times a day where you're breaking and building, breaking and building. That's called an oxidative metabolic process. But that creates free radicals. And antioxidants, like the electronegative charge of the earth, deactivates those free radicals and make that, makes that tissue production effective Okay, at, at regenerating tissue. So an earthing mat, grounding mat while you're sleeping. I've got grounding pads for all of my, my office staff. So when they're typing on the computer, they're on a grounded surface. They're where their hands are. So absolutely fantastic. I, th I think we order ours from earthing.com, but, you know, um, that's, it's, it's fantastic. Question four from Caroline Horvath Riviera. Hello, Dr. B, longtime follower here. Your humor got me. God bless you. Question. I've been dealing with an imbalance for one year now. I'm 53 years old. I do it all. Author, writer, married for 25 years, mother of three adult, beautiful girls. One in the Coast Guard, one musician overseas, one college basketball player. Man, you could teach parody. <laughs> Great job. I've been to every doctor and all the testing done. Pretty much the work up. One ENT doctor suggested that I have vestibular migraines. <laughs> oh, good. That's a trash can diagnosis. 
and sent me to um sent me in my way just to take b2 and magnesium i'm plant-based most of the time i do eat fish once in a while i eat yogurt every day for gut health after one year of frustration lots of massages and self-care and no answers i narrowed my issue down to um pppd persistent postural perceptual dizziness <laughs> it's the only thing that made sense Dr. B, I really want to get back to feeling myself again. Any suggestions? Thank you much. Um, thank you so much. And thank the Lord for your presence on this earth at this much needed time. Caroline, God bless you, dear. Thank you. Yeah, no, your body is intelligent. All those crazy diagnoses figure migraines, headaches, okay? You've got a 97% chance that it's coming from the neck. You're doing so many things right. But these doctors that you're going to aren't skilled at taking an x-ray, identifying a problem, doing some therapies, and correcting the problem. Okay, so you've got to get to a corrective chiropractor as soon as possible and have them look at the thoracic area, have them look at the gut, have them look at the lumbar and the pelvis. Because if you have a lumbar deviation or, or a lumbar issue, that can shift the entire thoracic off to the side or or create a postural imbalance. Now, postural dizziness, figure balance is composed of three things. One is information up from the the spinal column. That's the dorsal columns. The other one is the vestibular ocular apparatus, the eyeball and the horizon. And the third is the cerebellum. Now, toxicities and drugs affect the cerebellum. So um, you can function with any two of those three. So you have got a problem with the information going into the brain, and that's the dorsal column. So there is some type of spinal deviation that's contributing to the problem. The vestibular ocular apparatus, that's like nutrient deficiencies, dehydration, things like that. But you are for sure going to have a, a spinal problem. Get Look at the set of x-rays that we have. We have a list of um, questions, seven questions to find a corrective chiropractor. But um, I, I get on our site, and I can send you the list of x-rays that I would want of you. And you will get better, because the planet was designed for you. You are made in the image and likeness of God, and um, you will get healthy. <laughs> God bless you, dear. Now, if your questions weren't answered in this video, um, please visit the Dr. B VIP, because with the, the censorship now, I'm very <laughs> limited greatly on the information that I can transfer or, or tell you about. So um, get on there and um, your, your questions will be answered. God bless you all.